Hello everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel. It is that time. Jurassic World Dominion is here. The finale to six brilliant films. You know, there's been ups, there's downs. People don't enjoy the third Jurassic Park as much. People don't enjoy Fallen Kingdom as much. There's been a very 50-50 on this film. But ultimately, I think Jurassic World trilogy is beautiful, incredible, amazing. And Dominion is the great finale i wanted expected and it had you know a few things in there that um, i didn't expect or you know think would ever be involved with the plot but we're going to go into that right now so if you haven't checked it out go check it out if you didn't like the film let me know if you enjoyed the film hit, a film, hit the thumbs up <clears throat> um going off sources and you know what we know this apparently will not be the finale to the jurassic world franchise um, you know, the Jurassic World trilogy is over, but there may be another trilogy or another film or another prequel or sequel or spin off or something else that may come from this franchise. But I don't think it'll feature the core cast. But spoilers ahead, of course, hit that subscribe button. And of course, let me know down below out of 10 what you thought about Jurassic World Dominion. Enjoy. So, <clears throat> Right off the bat, I want to say Jurassic World Dominion was a beautiful, incredible, credible, and heartfelt. Just, I just love this film. You know, it's a four year gap in between, in timeline as well, not just time, not, not just in release schedule. Um, <clears throat> since Fallen Kingdom, since the dinosaurs have come into the world. And what I love about this film is it's an established world. Um, where this bio company has been created. They're the ones who, you know, have taken in a bunch of the carnivores and that's why there's not much death or danger in the world because most of the animals that are in the real world are herbivores or, you know, the mild bits and bobs of carnivores with obviously Blue and Beta being out there as well. I love the whole Blue and Beta stuff. Blue was barely involved in the film, but Beta became a main source of the, of the plot. Uh, I think Chris Pratt's character, Owen, was brilliant. I think Bryce Dallas Howard has truly got better every film. She became a mom in this film. Um, Macy, I think, was brilliant. I think she is such an incredible actress for her age. You know, um, I, 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 I love the dialogue between Owen and Claire and how these three have come together to become such a good family. And by the end of it, do you realise how much of a family they are this film tackles so much and i'm just going to talk about their, their their sort of arc of the film because there's two arcs of the film there's the original tri trio and then there's the new trio um you know on pratt's side you have the original uh, his partner in crime from the original Jurassic world i love their little reunion how he's working for like a you know secret corporation in France, I love that. I think that was incredible. You know, there was a couple of pictures, a couple of the other original people from Jurassic World. I say original, I mean like the first of the other trilogy. I think this film captivates Pratt in his prime. I think he has carried the Jurassic World trilogy in such a good way from the first one being so, you know, reserved and just being there, being this guy who has to step up and save the park. Uh, to the second one where he's having to take on the, the responsibility of helping Claire. And the third one, he becomes the guy who he very much has to get Beta back because he wants Blue's admiration. He wants to save his daughter, per se. And I want to talk about this. You know, the first one, the chemistry, Owen and Blue's relationship was fantastic. The second one, you can tell it had drifted so much because um, Blue had been isolated on this island and um, Owen had sort of let it be what it is. And then we get into the third one. At the start, you know, it's been four years since these two have proper interacted with each other. Blue is, he won't harm him, but he's still very respectful and, you know, it keeps his distance from Owen. You know, he's not going to hurt Macy. Uh, and then obviously with Beta disappearing, you see Blue getting angry and angry, but you can see a little bit of trust that he knows Owen will bring him home. And by the end of the film, you see this uh, mutual respect, and it's one of the most beautiful scenes to signify their relationship. Um, Beta's obviously ultimate return to Blue after everything that goes down. I will talk about in a minute. 
blue goes off, you think, oh, okay. But then he comes back and you think and he's going to do a little noise and then this little, he don't do the noise. Owen just senses that he's come back. They stare at each other and that little nod from each of them is a beautiful recognition of how far Owen has come from being a just a generic uh, Raptor trainer to bringing home his child or her child. I can't remember if Blue's a girl or a boy. Uh, and I, I, I just think it's the most beautiful thing about his trilogy. I adore Pratt as an actor, you know, from everything he does with Marvel and the Jurassic series and the Passenger film. He's a brilliant actor. He puts his all into these roles. And it's always more meaningful when there's roles and there's, there's, there's stories like this. There's the bigger picture of, you know, saving the dinosaurs. But his purpose was to have this relationship with Blue. He wanted Blue to live with him at the end of Fallen Kingdom. It didn't happen, but now um, you can see that mutual respect, and I loved it. Um, and obviously, we have to talk about Ian Malcolm, Alan Grant, and Ellie Sattler. Three absolutely brilliant characters brought back from the original Jurassic Park, who obviously featured in the follow-up to as well. Uh, Sam Neill, what a guy, what a brilliant, brilliant guy. I loved his role with, I can't remember the woman who plays Ellie Sattler, but she... Is it Laura Dern? Laura Dern, yeah, Laura. <coughs> Their relationship all the way through this film is perfection. It's what you you what you expect and what you know you're gonna get. And for them to finally, you know, kiss at the end and to become partners in crime, it made the six films worthwhile. You know, he asked the question, "What about Malcolm?" Out the picture, the kids are going to college. He has lived the lone, lonesome life of just being an archaeology teacher, but now he's going to travel with Ellie. Um, you know, Goldblum's character. Goldblum is the best character in the Jurassic series. He's so funny, charismatic. You know, he knows what he's about. He's really <laughs> the conversations he has with certain characters in this. It was just brilliant. He was just incredible. You know, there was ever, I'm not saying there was dull moments, but if there was ever a dull moment, he would say something like, you made a promise to a dinosaur. Is that a dinosaur on your back? Nope, nope, not him. He's always him. <laughs> you know, references to pointing to Henry Wu. Henry Wu gets redeemed. And I think, again, it's one of the greatest redemption stories in cinema history. Six films. He is finally getting the chance to redeem himself. You know, uh, the locusts. Lo you know, I, the locust was one of the most random features in this entire film. Uh, when, those, when those kids got chased in the barn. And I was thinking, where has this come from? But I think it's an incredible thing because you've got these dinosaurs and all these other things mixing in the world. It's expected that random things are going to pop up or be genetically created by the lab people and Henry Wu made a mistake and he's redeemed his mistake and you know the the, the monologue at the end with the, whoever's talking I think it's uh, Ellie Sadler you see them going to court you see him doing his thing you see them obviously um, bringing Beta back to blue uh, I think having um, Justin Smith or Justice Smith whatever his name is and the girl from the second one they were brilliant cameos little appearance at the start when they went to the bar when they went to meet him and then they connected him with the old guy, the, the old friend from Jurassic World. I think everything about this was brilliant. I think the whole, um, how Ellie Sattler knew Charlotte, Macy's mom. I like how he went more and delved into that of, um, it wasn't necessarily cloning. Her DNA basically just repeat, re recreated her the same way as her mother was. But then I love how they went on to the fact that Charlotte went a bit further injected her as a young child and gave her a full life basically i think everything about this was brilliant the giga giga gigano tesaurus gigantosaurus whatever you want to call it you know the biggest carnivore in the history of mankind face up against t-rex i think was they had to chuck something in there to face up against t-rex those are the best battles about the film they are the best moments action wise um, a lot of tense scenes, you know, on this on the ladder going up, gold bloom. I thought he was actually gonna sacrifice himself. Um, I thought everything about this was brilliant from CGI to action to 
the whole jump scenes at the start, you know, these people are there, people there, there, people there, there, people are there. How everything came together, you know, the pilot, um, I think his name's Pearson, who worked with Dodson. Dodson being the guy from Jurassic Park 1 who met up with the uh, the large guy at the start of the film. I think it's absolutely brilliant how we saw the can. His death reminded us of his ex-colleague, you know, get spat on and then paral- paralysed face. Uh, everything about this film was incredible. I loved it. Um, I think, I think for me, the Jurassic films are always a good time. There wasn't enough music in this, to be fair. There wasn't as much music. I, they played it a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got to say, when you watch Jurassic Park, or if it's Lost World, or Jurassic Park 3, Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom, or Dominion, they're all brilliant, brilliant films. People, I, 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 you know, I know this isn't a Jurassic Park 3 review. Jurassic Park 2, Jurassic Park is a brilliant film. Jurassic Park 2, Lost World is a brilliant film. Jurassic Park 3 is a brilliant film. It introduces the Spinosaurus, one of my all-time favourite Jurassic features. Um, then you have Jurassic World with the... Um, um, Oh my god, I completely forgot the name. Um, you know what I mean. Uh, but then they have the Indoraptor, and now we have the Gigantosaurus or Gigan Gigan Giganosaurus. I can't even say the names. It's that complicated. I bet a kid can say it better than me. Um, uh, but the battle at the end where the T Rex, you know, he's been he's been beaten up, he's been pushed down, he gets up, and then the other big bird thing. That I'd been, you know, looking at for Ellie Sadler earlier, or not her, for Claire's character. Sorry, T Rex pushes it into it and he stabs. I think it's one of the best cool uh, Dominus Rex. I think it's one of the best endings um, and moments from the animals, the the, the, the dinosaur. And I th- I can't think of anything I had an issue with. Everyone was redeemed. People who died needed to die. I loved the scene with Denise where she was talking about giving uh, flight commands to the woman in the air. And then um, I love how air control was pterodactyls. Uh, a few cute moments about Ellie Sadler coming across a dinosaur and giving it, just like just being mesmerized by it. Some comical scenes between them. I love Ian Malcolm's role in this when he was first introduced, how he was the one introduction to Bio. I love how Pearson was a snake and working with Goldblum. This film just worked at every single level from comical, from great storytelling to a great finale, to great characters, to great music. To great absolutely everything. And, you know, I'm thinking about this now. I've had a night to reflect on it. I remember the scenes. I remember the action scenes. I love the pacing of how they brought all these characters together from the scenes in Malta, <clears throat> chase, the chases around the, uh, the city, um, the plane sequences, the, the, the fight on the ice. I thought that was brilliant. The tea work, how Malcolm was saved by Grant on the uh, ladder. <clears throat> I thought it was brilliant. We got wraps up about Macy's storyline. Blue and Beta lived ha- happily ever after. The T-Rex is alive. Now the bio area is a um, sanctuary for all animals that are, that are Jurassic, as well as obviously random ones that I thought around the world that obviously won't go anywhere. But I think this, in my opinion, oh my God, you know, I, I, I'm reflecting on it now. This genuinely, oh my God, I may even put it above the original Jurassic World. What I'd say is Jurassic World is more what rewatchable. I don't know how rewatchable this one's going to be. <clears throat> but that, in my opinion, does not diminish or determine how good a film is. Lord of the Rings trilogy is one of the greatest trilogies in history, if not the greatest trilogy of all time, as well as being two of the greatest films of all time, that being Two Towers and, and uh, Return of the King. So I'm saying Dominion is... A, in my opinion, and not many people will agree with this, I phenomenally love this film. I think it's an absolute incredible, incredible film. Say what you want, say what you need to. I love Dominion. It's getting a perfect 10 out of 10. And I think Jurassic World is one of my all-time favourite trilogies. Um, and I think in a couple of days, I will give a full review on the entire Jurassic World trilogy so stay tuned for that let me know your thoughts down below if you don't agree then you don't agree I just truly had an absolute blast with this film you know I I'm a huge Jurassic Park fan you know I love the the, the, the trio I'm a huge Chris Pratt fan uh, 
the core, the, the the huge amount of side characters in the story worked for me. The relationships, the lovable acting, and just everything. You know, if you're going to go into this film and you just can't watch it and you're just there to complain, then you're not going to the right films. At the end of the day, these films are not made for us. They're made for the new generation. But this film in particular brings the new generation and the old generation together. So enjoy it. Have a blast. Don't read too much into it because I'm not. I absolutely love this film. I'm not just saying there's no issues because I don't see issues. I don't. <clears throat> if you're saying there's random jump cuts or this that, and the other, it's because you have to save time in certain scenes or, you know, if this doesn't work or that doesn't work. It's because they cut certain scenes or make certain decisions to make this film flow as good as possible. The jump cuts, the flow and everything. And it was just incredible. I could talk about this film all day. And one last thing I want to say is at the end, I loved how the, the T-Rex went along uh, through the circle bit and made the logo. I think that was a great touch, a great moment. And the T-Rex will always be the greatest dinosaur in Jurassic history alongside the Raptor. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you share some of my opinions. And of course, stay tuned for more with my Jurassic Park trilogy series coming soon. The Jurassic World Analysis trilogy coming soon, as well as more, of course. Stay tuned for more. Take care. Hit the subscribe button. Leave a like and goodbye.